Matt Lauer's most questionable on-screen moments. In light of the sexual assault and sexual harassment allegations directed at former Today Show anchor Matt Lauer, many of the morning show icon's on-screen moments are now being reviewed through a much darker lens. Lauer was fired from his post at NBC in November 2017 after 20 years with the network. Given these awkward, cringeworthy segments, it now seems surprising that his career survived for so long when he grilled Madonna about her age. When Lauer sat down with Madonna in 2003 for Dateline, he began by asking her about an editorial in the New York Times that essentially declared her too old to be relevant. Madge wasn't amused, telling Lauer, at the end of the day, what is the relevance of Aretha Franklin? What was the relevance of Frank Sinatra? You know, what is the relevance of all artists? Do we have to fit into an age group and appeal to a specific audience to have relevance? It's absurd. It's disrespectful and it's absurd. He followed by asking if she feels threatened by younger pop stars Britney Spears and Christina Aguilera, adding that Madonna is the age of Spears and Aguilera's parents. Great, said Madonna, and you know what? One day Britney Spears will be the age of her parents. It's an absurd thing to say and there's no point to it. Lauer then asked the Queen of Pop, why are you still famous? It's safe to say that after this segment, Madonna probably started tuning into Good Morning America instead of Today. When he harped on Sandra Bullock's nude scene, Sandra Bullock appeared on Today in 2009 to promote the proposal, 2009, in which she has an amusing nude scene, you don't even see much. With co-star Ryan Reynolds, Lauer couldn't seem to get past it. He opened the interview with, the major thing that's changed since I've seen you last, I've seen you naked. Bullock replied with a laugh, I am so sorry about that, were you able to sleep afterwards? Lauer grinned and said, it's now my screensaver. He continued, you are naked for most of this movie, except for a carefully placed washcloth, is that what it is? Bullock clarifies that it was actually a loofah. Lauer kept harping on the subject, and at the conclusion of the interview, he said, did I mention you have a nude scene in this movie? The Oscar winning Bullock retorted, yes. Pretty much from the time you opened your mouth, yeah. He told her to come back more often, to which she sassed, no, not after this interview. I'm out of here. When he admitted to ogling Vince Jill's daughter. During an appearance on Watch What Happens Live in January 2014, Lauer admitted to host Andy Cohen that he'd been ogling country singer Vince Gill's daughter while Jill's wife, Amy Grant, was singing on Today. Making a very very long story short, it was a concert on the plaza one time, Lauer recalled, I know Vince, I play golf with Vince and he got off the stage. Amy was singing and they had backup singers, three very beautiful women, one extraordinarily voluptuous. Instead of looking at Amy Grant, I noticed Vince Gill was looking at one of the particularly voluptuous singers, and I kind of went up behind him and went, I know, are those things real? And he turned to me and said, they better be real. That's my daughter. His infatuation with Anne Hathaway's wardrobe malfunction. In December 2012, Anne Hathaway was photographed having a wardrobe malfunction while exiting a car at the Les Miserables, 2012, premiere. When she appeared on Today the same week to promote the movie, Lauer was less than kind, though she remained composed and classy. We've seen a lot of you lately, he told an embarrassed Hathaway, who made it clear she didn't like the topic. Sorry about that she said, I'd be happy to stay home, she added with a smile, but, I have to promote, the film, Lauer kept going, you had a wardrobe malfunction the other night, what's the lesson learned from something like that, the Oscar winner calmly responded, well, it was obviously an unfortunate incident, it kind of made me sad on two accounts, one was that I was very sad that we live in an age when someone takes a picture of another person in a vulnerable moment and rather than delete it, and do the decent thing, sells it. And I'm sorry that we live in a culture that commodifies sexuality of unwilling participants. When he grilled Miley Cyrus about her sexual side. In 2013, during Miley Cyrus' twerking phase, she appeared on Today, and Lauer asked her about her infamous MTV Video Music Awards performance. A lot of it was very provocative, he said. I'm never going to go to a sporting game and see a foam finger the same way again. Cyrus then reenacted her gyrations from the show and said, without getting up and doing this with it. Lauer replied, I won't do that, but I'll be thinking about it. Add to that the naked shot on the wrecking ball in the video. Is the sexual side of you that we're seeing a lot of right now something that's going to be here for a while? Cyrus sassed back, I heard when you turn 40, things start to go a little less sexual. Probably around that time, I heard that's when people don't have sex anymore. I guess maybe around then. His fascination with Pippa Middleton's rear end. When interviewing Pippa Middleton in June 2014, Following the royal wedding for her sister, Kate Middleton, and brother-in-law, Prince William, Lauer steered the conversation in this direction. It didn't take long after the wedding for people to start talking about you, and for lack of a better way to explain it, the way your dress fit. How did you feel about that? Middleton said the attention, which was largely focused on her bum, was a little embarrassing and that her dress was meant to be almost insignificant. Lauer replied, insignificant? Hardly. Later when asking her about Prince George, he quipped, 
when you walk in the room, does he drool? His sexist questions to GM the CEO Mary Barra. In 2014, Lauer faced criticism following an interview with General Motors CEO Mary Barra, in which he asked her, There are some people who are speculating that you also got this job as a woman and as a mom, because people in General Motors knew that this company was in for a very tough time and, as a woman and a mom. You could present a softer image and softer face as this company goes through this horrible episode. Does it make sense, or does it make you bristle? Burry replied, well, it's absolutely not true. I was selected for this job based on my qualifications. Lauer later asked, you said in an interview not long ago that your kids said they're going to hold you accountable for one job, and that is being a mom. Given the pressures of this job at General Motors. Can you do both well? Burr diplomatically responded, you know, I think I can. I have a great team.